Hello everyone. In this video, we will practice listening to English conversations in real life situations. After listening to the conversation, try to repeat it. You can also listen to the conversation again to understand the content and practice your pronunciation. The more you listen, the better you will understand English. Do you have children? The conversation takes place when Lucy went to see the doctor. Let's hear what they will say. Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Hi, please take a seat. 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 What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? With you. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. It's so difficult. It's so difficult for me. For me to fall asleep. To fall asleep. It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. How long have you had this issue? How long have you had this issue? How long? How long have you had? Have you had this issue? This issue. How long have you had this issue? How long have you had this issue? It has been a few years. It has been a few years. It has been. It has been a few years. A few years. It has been a few years. It has been a few years. Do you have children? Do you have children? Do you have? Do you have children? Children. Do you have children? Do you have children? Yes, I have two kids. Yes, I have two kids. Yes, I have. Yes, I have two kids. Two kids. Yes, I have two kids. Yes, I have two kids. How old are they? How old are they? How old? How old are they? Are they? How old are they? How old are they? One is four years old, and the other is two years old. One is four years old, and the other is two years old. One is four years old. One is four years old. And the other is. And the other is. Two years old. Two years old. One is four years old, and the other is two years old. One is four years old, and the other is two years old. Do you sleep with them? Do you sleep with them? Do you sleep? Do you sleep with them? With them. Do you sleep with them? Do you sleep with them? Yes, I sleep with one, and the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Yes, I sleep with one, and the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Yes, I sleep with one. Yes, I sleep with one, and the smaller one, and the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Sleeps in the crib. Yes, I sleep with one. And the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Yes, I sleep with one, and the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Have you tried to sleep alone? Have you tried to sleep alone? Have you tried? Have you tried to sleep alone? To sleep alone. Have you tried to sleep alone? Have you tried to sleep alone? Yes. I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. Yes, I did try one day. Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. And still couldn't sleep. Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. 
I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. I suggest. I suggest. You should try to sleep. You should try to sleep in a separate room alone. In a separate room alone for at least one week. For at least one week. I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. Okay, I will, doctor. Okay, I will, doctor. Okay, I will, doctor. Okay, I will, doctor. Listen again. Hello, doctor. Hi. Please take a seat. What's the matter with you? It's so difficult for me to fall asleep. How long have you had this issue? It has been a few years. Do you have children? Yes, I have two kids. How old are they? One is four years old, and the other is two years old. Do you sleep with them? Yes, I sleep with one, and the smaller one sleeps in the crib. Have you tried to sleep alone? Yes, I did try one day and still couldn't sleep. I suggest you should try to sleep in a separate room alone for at least one week. Okay, I will, doctor. Did you see my mobile phone? The conversation takes place when Laura couldn't find her phone, and she asked John while he was in the kitchen. Let's hear what they say. John, did you see my mobile phone? John, did you see my mobile phone? John, did you see? John, did you see my mobile phone? My mobile phone. John, did you see my mobile phone? John, did you see my mobile phone? No, you haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. No, you haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. No, you haven't gone. No, you haven't gone to the kitchen. To the kitchen since you came home. Since you came home. No. You haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. No, you haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it. I can't find it anywhere. Anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. Did you forget it at work? Did you forget it at work? Did you forget it? Did you forget it at work? At work. Did you forget it at work? Did you forget it at work? No, I just called mom after I came home. No, I just called mom after I came home. No, I just called mom. No, I just called mom. After I came home. After I came home. No, I just called mom after I came home. No, I just called mom after I came home. What did you do after that? What did you do after that? What did you do? What did you do after that? After that. What did you do after that? What did you do after that? Hmm. I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Hmm. I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Hmm. I took a shower. Hmm. I took a shower, then came back. Then came back to the bedroom. To the bedroom. Hmm. I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Hmm. I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom? Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom? Did you find it? Did you find in the bathroom? It in the bathroom and bedroom and bedroom. Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom? Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom?
Yes, I did. Yes, I did. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket. How about in your clothes? How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it. Maybe you put it in your pocket. In your pocket. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Ah, yes. It must be. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. In my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Brilliant. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Go and check. Go and check. Go and check. Go and check. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. You're welcome. Listen again. John, did you see my mobile phone? No, you haven't gone to the kitchen since you came home. I can't find it anywhere. Did you forget it at work? No, I just called mom after I came home. What did you do after that? Hmm, I took a shower, then came back to the bedroom. Did you find it in the bathroom and bedroom? Yes, I did. How about in your clothes? Maybe you put it in your pocket. Ah, yes. It must be in my trousers pocket. Brilliant. Go and check. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Short conversations happen when a customer asked a supermarket employee to guide him to the location of the item he needed to buy. Let's hear what they say. Hi, excuse me. Hi, excuse me. Hi, may I help you? Hi. May I help you? Hi. May I help you? Hi. May I help you? Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Could you please tell me? Could you please tell me? Where the section? Where the section? For laundry stuff is. For laundry stuff is. Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Oh, it's over there. Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Opposite the bakery section. Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Listen again. Hi, excuse me. Hi, may I help you? Could you please tell me where the section for laundry stuff is? Oh, it's over there, opposite the bakery section. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You are very kind. The conversation happens when Peter had a stomachache and Mary took care of him. Let's hear what they say.
What's wrong, Peter? What's wrong, Peter? What's wrong, Peter? What's wrong, Peter? I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. I have a stomachache. Does it hurt a lot? Does it hurt a lot? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? A lot. A lot. Does it hurt a lot? Does it hurt a lot? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Do you think you need to go to the hospital? Do you think you need to go to the hospital? Do you think? Do you think? You need. You need to go to go to the hospital. To the hospital. Do you think you need to go to the hospital? Do you think you need to go to the hospital? Nah, just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Nah, just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Nah, just let me rest. Nah, just let me rest. A bit. A bit. Maybe I ate. Maybe I ate something bad. Something bad. Nah, just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Nah, just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Did you throw up? Did you throw up? Did you throw up? Did you throw up? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, you probably got food poisoning. Let me cook something light for you. Um, you probably got food poisoning. Let me cook something light for you. Um, you probably got. Um, you probably got. Food poisoning. Food poisoning. Let me cook. Let me cook. Something light for you. Something light for you. Um, you probably got food poisoning. Let me cook something light for you. Um, you probably got food poisoning. Let me cook something light for you. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. You are very kind. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. We are flatmates, right? We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. That's what I should do. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Not at all. Now you should rest. Not at all. Now you should rest. Not at all. Not at all. Now you should rest. Now you should rest. Not at all. Now you should rest. Not at all. Now you should rest. Okay. Okay. If it hurts too bad, tell me, and I will take you to the hospital. If it hurts too bad, tell me, and I will take you to the hospital. If it hurts too bad. If it hurts too bad. Tell me. Tell me. And I will take you. And I will take you. To the hospital. To the hospital. If it hurts too bad, tell me, and I will take you to the hospital. If it hurts too bad, tell me, and I will take you to the hospital. Okay. Okay. Listen again. What's wrong, Peter? I have a stomachache. Does it hurt a lot? 
Yes, it does. Do you think you need to go to the hospital? Nah. Just let me rest a bit. Maybe I ate something bad. Did you throw up? Yes, I did. Um, you probably got food poisoning. Let me cook something light for you. Thanks, Mary. You are very kind. We are flatmates, right? That's what I should do. Thank you very much. Not at all. Now you should rest. Okay. If it hurts too bad, tell me, and I will take you to the hospital. Okay.